After the best start in conference play since the 2015-16 season, the Aggies faced a tough stretch of conference tests. The first, hosting a battle with number 12 Kentucky. The 12th man showed up to rock Reed Arena. It's the 100th year of the 12th man tradition. And in fitting fashion, fans not only sold out Reed Arena, but set an all-time attendance record of 14,036 raucous fans. Um, just coming out for warm-ups and just seeing the kids, like when the doors opened at 6.30, just seeing all the kids running down, running into the, to the stadium and just, you know, trying to fight for those shirts and those good seats. It was just amazing, you know, I've never been a part of something like that. It's just seeing all the support that we had for that game, it was amazing. That's probably the quickest read ever been filled up. <laughs> Definitely could feed off it. Uh, it was something that we needed that game. We need every night. Uh, we play, and uh, the crowd has been there with us the whole time. So just when, you know, when you're in the game or even watching the game, you hear, the, hear all the students and fans screaming, they're riding for us, it just makes us play even harder. I feel like that helped. That helped. That's bring even more fight to see all the supporters up there and uh, just to see a, a sold out uh, arena. It means a lot. It shows how, you know, how, how the culture is here. You know, we use the big word culture and just it shows how, how, how together we are. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Keep coming. After close contests with both Kentucky and Arkansas on the road, the Aggies turned to play number 19 LSU in Baton Rouge. For Tyrese Radford, it is a homecoming to his roots. His family, rich in Louisiana culture and cuisine, were happy to greet them with a special welcome and team meal. You know, walking in, checking in the hotel, and seeing his family there, you know, waving us in to come eat, it, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah, the Louisiana culture, was there. it was nice to bring that to the team. I feel like a couple people needed it <laughs> to see how we do it down there. Uh, Boots. Tyrese, that's my nephew, man. Love him, great guy, solid. So today y'all had uh, catfish, crawfish etouffee, rice, green beans. I didn't cook the chicken pasta, mama did that, so I gotta give mama credit. <laughs> mama did the chicken pasta and all the desserts and everything in uh, garden. My favorite part of the meal was probably the crawfish etouffee or probably the dessert, the king cake. I haven't had king cake in years, uh, and peach cobbler. The world's finest king cake right here. If you come to Louisiana, you have to get king cake, you have to try it. And this is the bread pudding. Don't get better than this. Why? Delicious. I, would, I love pasta, so I'll say like the Cajun chicken Alfredo. It was amazing. I took Spanish for one semester, and this is the word that I learned. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> Today, honestly, so I got a head count of 50, so I prepared for 100. Because we're dealing with athletes, right? So they're not gonna eat once, and if they enjoy it, they're gonna eat two or three times. So prepare for 100. I had about two, two good ones, and I had one to go, you know, for later on in the night. But, you know, I just needed all that. Even even Coach Buzz, you know, he usually try to stay on a uh, um, slim diet, but I seen him eat about two plates. It was just a great atmosphere, you know, big family. Seeing them, you know, prepare that food and fix that food for us, it just showed how much they care for us. You know? I ain't got no words. No words. You know, they gave us gift bags with like Louisiana hot sauce, Louisiana chips. It was just an amazing atmosphere, you know. You know where we at? Well, I need best, best hot sauce ever. You know, just seeing Boots, you know, the fa his face when he seen his family, you know, prepare that and just them being there for him, it meant a lot to him. It meant a lot to us too. We've been talking about this for years. To me, I, I take pride in Louisiana culture, right? So it, it was cool to see everybody come and eat and enjoy what we had for them. Our organization, our staff and players brought them in like family, you know, uh, made them feel real comfortable. They probably won't uh, forget that day or that weekend that we was there. Tyrese Rafford, a homecoming tonight from Baton Rouge, his first career game back in his hometown after signing with Virginia Tech, originally with Buzz Williams and now transferring to College Station. His family catered the team meal last night. They're in the catering business. He's got 35 friends and family in the house. A little more meaningful for 23 in Maroon. This is the first time my mom saw me in college play uh, in person. Yeah. My family gonna go all out to where they had the cardboard faces of me, uh, t-shirts, jackets, cutoff shirts, everything. They, they didn't surprise me because I knew what, I know what they're capable of. That's what they was doing in high school too. You know, those probably pretty much all my supporters that I've been having coming out of high school. 
Radford. Corner three is good. Big shot for Boots. What do you need? Boots is one of those guys. What do you need? To play on this level in front of my, in my hometown, which was a, like a dream. I'm proud of myself. For them, it's probably unreal to see me play at the next level. Well, a lot of people thought I wasn't going to make it to. But I brought a lot of smiles to their faces, and they did to me too. Next, the Ags came home to host South Carolina for their beat the hell out of breast cancer night. Wearing a new pink uniform, celebrating survivors, and raising awareness and money for the cause. I feel like it's, it's really important, you know, uh, as a team, one of our characteristics is uh, caring, caring for one another and others. We want to show how how much we care for those, you know, those that out there that have breast cancer or, you know, recovering from it or beat it, you know. Just, you know, wearing those jerseys meant a lot. But even seeing some of the fans in pink, it just meant, you know, it meant a lot and showed how much, you know, how important it is. That moment uh, meant, meant so much to us, you know, just being able to uh, play in front of them. You know, I wish the outcome could have been different, but uh, it just means a lot to this whole uh, program. You know, it's always bigger than basketball because one day the ball is going to stop bouncing. So you got to have that, you know, platform where you can support others because they always supported you. Results on the court can turn on a dime and don't always go as this program wants. But in the unity and support of fans, love of family and culture, and celebration and support of survivors, we are all reminded that basketball is more than a game. There is much more to play. And as always, this team will continue to strive forward and get better.